Uh, hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is Q4 of the Reason Nico Contest, minimum cost to cut a stick. So the idea behind this problem is just um, just recursion, uh, divide and conquer dynamic programming, and basically just try every possible thing, right? Uh, so there are a couple of ways to kind of make this uh, easier. Uh, the way that I did it was that I add, add the endpoint 0 and n, so then that means that, um, and those, and for this, we never cut at the endpoint, so that means that, um, and also we want to sort them because there's no point of sorting the input or not sorting the input. Um, so that that means that um, we're not cutting the the left endpoint and the right endpoint, and that's the invariant that we keep. And that means that uh, we try to cut one of the cuts in the middle, and when what what the cost of course is just the length of the stick that you're cutting, and and then recursively divide and conquerly uh, the left using now cut is the new right endpoint and the new left endpoint. Uh, and then the cost is just the size of the stack. So then you do this recursively. This is LRU cache, uh, memorization for dynamic programming. Uh, and then once you do that, um, I mean, this is pretty much it. I got it in about five minutes, which is actually pretty good for me. Uh, I should have gotten the top 10, but eh, sometimes it happens. Uh, but yeah. Um, but this is just divide and conquer, and I don't know if there's a better way to explain it because we literally try every possibility and then take the best one of it. Uh, what's the, what is the, uh, uh, what is the complexity, right? Well, this is going to be, uh, so n is a little bit odd here. Uh, so we're going to say the number of cuts is m. Uh, if m is the number of cuts, then this is m square, which is at most 100. So that's going to be fast enough. Uh, in terms of space, it will only have m square, uh, wait, what did I say before? Sorry, the, the, the only m, so let me say it again. There are m square possible inputs, so the space is going to be m square, but each of these inputs will take uh, all of m times to 1, so it'll be m cube running time complexity, just to be clear. I don't know why I said but uh, but yeah, but that's all I have for this problem. Uh, you can watch me solve it live pretty quickly, right about next.
Mm-hmm. 